Guys, welcome yeah. to the GGL. If you guys are new here and don't know what the GGL stands for, that's the Gangster Gaming League. This is event number three, round number one. Let's take you guys back through a little timeline. The GGL number one, we uh, we played Madden. Yeah. And after a hard competition that we saw some very close matches, well, the big boss dog himself walked away with the trophy, was able to end it with the hardware and got it done. Now, ever since then, everyone's been waiting for the second round of Madden to come back around. Well, GGL number two, that's when we did a little Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Mixed things up. Fighting. And then we came back to Madden for GGL number three. Now, the question is, after so long, and everyone's been wanting to get at mm. the Big Boss Dog, will anybody have what it takes? Now, here's the twist that we have for you. If you guys remember, at the end of GGL number one, they called out the Taylor Gang. Well, guess what? The Taylor Gang answered that call. So the question is, not only can Snoop's crew bring him down today, but the question is, will it stay with Snoop's crew, or will yeah. the King of the Compound go to someone from Taylor Gang? Or will the Taylor Gang walk out of here with the championship trophy? That's that's what I want to see. I want to see somebody come in here and just wipe out everybody and just roll out with the trophy like I'm the new king of the GGL. Coming out of the west side, first up, we got Ethan. Mm. Then if we hopped over to the east side, we got Trip Loaf. Mm. Also out of the east side, we got Red Grant. Hopping back over to the west, we got Red Woods mm. and Young Sag. Ooh. Moving back over to the east, we got Lodi. That's uh, that's Lodi. Yeah, that's, that's Taylor Gang. That's Taylor Gang. That's mm. yeah, and we also got JC, and then to close it out in the West, Waniac. Now here's the thing. Those matchups you see, Ethan and Young Sag. You're wondering, like, well, where's the big boss dog? Where where's Snoop? Where, where am I? So Snoop, because he won GGL number one, he got an automatic buy. So the what? winner of the Ethan versus Young Sag match is gonna go against Big Snoop Dog himself. Oh boy. When we slide down to the uh, to the west side and the bracket, the Waniac versus Red Woods, the winner of that is going to go against Chevy Woods. Wow. Chevy Woods getting the bye. Wow. Into the second round. Now we slide over to the east side. That first matchup is going to be Red Grant versus JC. Now that's a very highly anticipated match. That's a highly match. anticipated match right there. Now. Whoever walks away from, with the win from that match is going to go against Lala. What? Who got the bye into the Lala second round. Lala got a bye? Ranked one in the nation? And to close things out, coming out of the East, we got Lodi versus Trip Low. Now, here's the thing. These go, both of these guys are good. They go. The they winner go of this game could possibly win it all. These two guys are good. And, you know, one of them got bars. Yeah. Like B-A-R's. Yeah, bars. And then the winner of that is going to go against Shelton. Now, Shelton... He was the champ. He was the Super Bowl champ last time. One of the most slept on, but most respected people in the entire GGL. So, guys, right now, the action for round number one is going to go live. These guys are going to start their matchups. They're going to start playing. We're not going to show you round one. We're going to leave that counter up so you guys can get everyone in here. Make sure you're liking the stream, retweeting the stream, reposting it, sharing, doing all those things. Mixer.com slash Snoop Dogg. Put it up on social. Get it on your Instagram so we get everyone in here to see this action go down. Periodically, we'll give you... The follow-ups on round number one let you know how it's going down. And when we hop in at 5 p.m. Pacific time, mm -hmm. that's where we're going to go straight into round number two. Ooh, so round number one, players, you got the matchups. Load up your profiles and get cracking. Let's go. Guys, welcome to GGL Woo! number three. We'll see you in a few minutes. JC moving on to round number two where JC will face Lala. Speaking of round number two. After Young Sag and that commanding victory over Ethan, Young Sag is going to go see the big boss dog himself. Uh-oh, the bully gets to try to come get his shoes back. In round number two, but before <laughs> that, we got Lodi and Trip Lope loading up right now, still in round number one. That game's going to be underway, followed by we're going to get Waniac and Redwoods on the six. Guys, this is the GGL number three, looking for the new king of the compound. Hope you guys are having a great time. Just to fill you guys in on the action that you may have missed earlier, so early on in the first First round, we had Ethan versus Young Sag, and the bully was able to move on. Young Sag making it into round number two, where in round number two, he will face the big boss dog, Snoop Dogg himself, who got a bye in round number one. Also, we had Waniac versus Redwoods, where Redwoods was able to take care of business and get it done against Waniac. Waniac, after an impressive showing, what didn't have enough gas in the tank to finish against Redwoods. Redwoods moving on to go against Chevy Woods here in Inglewood. That'll be an impressive round number two game. And then going over to the east side of the bracket, in game number one, we had Red Grant versus JC. And yeah, after an overtime thriller. After Red Grant had a commanding lead for most of the game, JC battled back, and with only two seconds remaining, JC sent it to overtime and then was able to get the job done. In 
overtime. Now JC is facing Lala in round number two out of the east side in that final game of Ludi versus Trip Loke. After Trip Loke thought he had everything to get it done, Ludi with a very surprising touchdown there at the end of the game was able to seal the deal with a 21 14 lead moving on into the second round for Taylor game. Now we're going to see Ludi versus Shelton. Shelton, who got a first round bye and moves into the second round. Shelton was also the favorite in GGL number one. Yes, he was. He did what he was supposed to do. He pulled it off, won the Super Bowl, and then he got a chance to play against Elroy the Great, and he was knocked off. I was like, how, how, did, how did that end up for him? I mean, he won the ship, but you know that he wanted to get the other thing. He wanted to knock off Elroy to become the great one. But he got action today, though. Everybody got action. Said a lot of action, a lot of big stakes here today. Not only, if you guys remember, NGGL1. Said there was a major call out that happened. Taylor Gang was called out, and that call was answered. So not only did the Taylor Gang respond, and we have them in the building, but also the stakes are even higher because there is a $5,000 cash prize on the line for the winner of the tournament today. So these guys are ready to go amped up. Their teams have been changed. Their coaching strategies have flipped. And now it all comes down to who's the person who has the best strategy in this Madden 2019 GGL number three. JC coaching at his finest. <coughs> we need some ice. <coughs> <coughs> They finna get you in right now. Seconds, so they'll have one remaining here in this second quarter. We'll be right back. And Tucker, the former Longhorn, puts this one through. And the lead moves to 10 zip. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11 play drive. That's a lot of offense to run in there. We got and he goes down right there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Well, they had to run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. Two minutes to go here in the first half. We're back to Arlington right after this timeout. Uh. Checking back in right now, JC with all the momentum. JC getting out of first round, now going against Lala, holding Lala in the donut shop, 10-0. JC with a look of determination. After everything that went down in GGL1, looks like JC came here looking for some payback. Hey, he only like he wanted. He up by 10 right now, third and four in the red zone. I mean, Lala's third and four on this side of the field. He got to try to do something to generate some money. This is a big opportunity for Lala here. Lala doesn't want to go with more than 10 unanswered points. He's going to pick up the first. Oh, great job. Way to slide. My nice slide there to not right. take the hit. My quarterback would have kept trying to get to the house. Well, Vic's got those wheels. Right. Down him a little bit on the heavy side. I'm over there. Focus, concentrate. He's down 10. He knows he's got to get something before the half. Because he's getting the ball back at the end. Because if he can get anything, that's good. Great running play there. Going to pick up a few yards. If he stays outside, he goes home. Oh, and look, we got a nice little shot there of our friends from Heavy Hitters there in the background. Heavy Hitters came through. Delivered me, as you guys know. I don't, I don't partake. However, I do support businesses. And they gave me a cool little hat and some socks. Some rocking the socks. Probably hat, slap the hat on a little later. Oh. Speaking of slaps, Lala. He didn't get his feet in. Trying to go downfield. Finds himself in a third and sixth position. Now this is where composure comes in. 
Some players will get nervous in this situation, thinking about turning over the ball after the next play. Lala seems very composed and ready to pick up six. Got to pull something out of his playbook. That's going to him a guaranteed six. Running around with McNabb. McNabb over the middle, finds somebody wide open. Calvin hitting there, Johnson. 48 seconds left in the first half. Lala's in the position now. You at least get three out of the deal and he gets the ball in half first. But he'd rather get a touchdown so he'd be in a more, you know, comfortable position. Momentum, such a huge thing in this game. You want to go into halftime with the momentum on your side, especially if you know that you're getting the ball back. Exactly. I would want seven. Three is not enough because I want seven now because then that way if I get the ball to half, I can take the lead with a touchdown. If I get three now, the most I can do is tie you up. Well, oh, that's okay. why you're the coach. Yeah. So, Coach Snoop. You got to have certain plays that, that just force you to get that end zone. He letting the clock run. He ain't running the clock. This is a bad coach. Bad coach. Clock taking down, seeing less than 13 seconds. He's going to drop back. Bad coach. And a bad throw. Bro, gonna he had not able play. to bring it down in the end zone. That was a big throw to the back in the end zone. Wasn't able to bring it down. Now seven seconds remaining. And you find yourself with zero points in the first half. Lala's got to do something big here. Bad coach. He's got two players out of there. Lala wants to lock in a field goal here. Put something on the board. He already missed one early. He missed the field goal early. That would have been six points. Lala's going to grab one. So Lala, they would have put three points on the board, but three points is not going to be enough. That missed field goal from earlier is going to come back to haunt him because if he'd had that, he'd be down 10 6 with the ball at the half. Tooting on that cocaine. Now let's look at JC. JC, comeback win in the first round now yes. with a nice commanding lead. Now seven points, not a lot in this game, but with That's possession. Enough. It's enough. It's enough when your competitor's not able to get in that end zone. JC taking his, taking his time, looking through his playbook. The question is, is JC trying to make a statement right here with this play? He may. All kinds of time in the pocket. There's a big throw. Can he bring it down? Able oh, to bring it gone. down. JC, JC trying to go oh. to the basket. brought down at the five-yard line. Wow. It was a gutsy play. He was able wow. to reach up, bring that thing down. Now you really got to start wondering what's going through the mind of Lala. The defense just not there, not able to get it done on the offensive mm. side of the ball. Well, one thing about Jay Season, effective offensive coordinator, he was a great collegiate football player at Colorado State. So he knows certain things about running routes and getting behind certain coverages. So that's what he just showed you right there, how he was able to get behind that coverage. There's too much pressure. Strip low. Blaze those up. Good, good game, son. That was a good game. You guys are just joining us. Welcome back to GGL. Number three. Back at it again with Madden 2019. As we get closer and closer to the launch date for Madden 20. Right now, checking in on the game between Lala and JC. Lala finds himself down. 3-10 to 10 versus J.C. J.C. riding that wave of momentum after coming off a strong win in round number one. Lala, who had a bye, you got to wonder at this point, because he didn't have the time on the sticks, is that working against Lala right now? It may be. After J.C. having such a high-pressure situation, having to adapt and evolve, may have prepared him more for this game, and, you know, honestly, Lala may have underestimated his opponent. One thing for certain and two things for show. Sure. These two guys haven't played each other much, so this is like one of the first times they're facing off against each other. Styles make fights. Lala with a lot of time in the pocket. Oh. Not able to bring it down there. Seeing a lot of emotion out of Lala. Mm. 
Lala's going to get another go at it. But the thing is, at fourth and four, what do you do here? I You're already you down seven points. I think you punt the ball and play, D. You don't give him the ball on this side of the field, Jason. His offense is effective. So you punt the ball and force him to make a mistake. Lala going to punt it away. Decent punt. Mm. Now, J.C. can make this game real interesting if he can get anything. Any points right now is too much. Well, I got to force him to get nothing. Any is too many. Any points at this point is too much it is. for Lala to come back against J.C. Not you know? to come back, but I'm just saying it just puts him in a bad position to where he's going to start doing the sporadic stuff because you down. When you down, one thing about it, you start thinking differently. Lock up. Oh, oh. Like almost looked like the ball came out there. JC going to catch a break there. Almost lost the ball. Would have been a huge turnover. JC still looking very cool, calm, and collected. Shout out to the ladies in the back. Hooking up them vapes and all the good, beautiful stuff back there, accessories. The ladies from Heavy Hitters. Oh, yeah, they're heavy, baby. Mary Jane. MaryJane.com. BLE. Big shout out to the boss lady. Boss lady herself. Boss lady entertainment. Wow, that was a great, great, great defensive play. Of course, JC to punt the ball. You guys are hearing those smooth, mellow sounds in the background, just like the way that JC is smoothly. Taking care of business right now against Lala. Lala's really got to change things around, otherwise the momentum will not shift to his side. Well, this is something crucial right here. If JC doesn't punt and decides to go for it and doesn't get the first down, he's going to give Lala the ball deep in his red zone. And me knowing JC, he's going for it. <laughs> Dog says no matter what, fourth and 9,000, he said JC's going for it. This guy has a, a potent offense. He knows what he can do. And there it is. Big throw open. There's the catch, and there's another. Move those chains. Jerry Rice. JC saying it's too easy. I told you he played wide receiver, so he knows how to break down certain zones. You got to have a great defensive coordinator to, to really cut him in half because he's good, especially when he got time. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as we watch this game, this looks like a totally different JC than we saw in GGL1. JC's been in the lab. All these players have been labbing. JC came out with a new fire that we have not seen before. He's quickly become the chat's favorite yeah, yeah. to move on yeah, they in like this JC matchup. In the chat. They say JC is the favorite right now. Oh, boy. Highly touted. His skills are showing. Laker chick 2275. We see you. Good stuff. No, we're glad that you're hanging out with us. Thanks yeah. for coming Thanks to the for GGL. Thanks hanging out with us, baby. JC going to send a player in motion. <laughs> oh, Lala oh. sent the exotic blitz out of nowhere. That's Lawrence Taylor. He is effective on that inside blitz. Now, that's a huge loss. Big opportunity for Lala here, forcing JC in a second and 19. Mm. Question is, if he can get another sack here, put him JC on his heels there, yeah. that could be terrible. Yeah, but giving JC time could be even more terrible. And he's got time. When that guy has time, he's able to look around and find his precision passing and his great receivers. Nothing but time. Had almost four entire seconds to throw. Finds the open man, gets out of bounds. Oh no, didn't get out of bounds. Clock's still going. 120 left in the third quarter with a seven point lead. Quick handoff inside. Grabs the first down. Move the change yet again. JC already looking past Lala. You got a handful of plays that's working. So once you got a handful of plays that's working, you just keep rotating. So you can't figure him out. John Taylor coming through. Big hit up the middle. Yeah. 
<laughs> now, guys, although JC does have the momentum Brad. versus Lala, he only Brad. is holding a seven-point lead. That's a simple touchdown Brad. followed by that extra point. Anything can happen here. Lala could turn this thing around. Plenty of time left. Off, the man. entire fourth quarter up for grabs. <laughs> JC, another first down. Oh, Chevy Woods with a big pick. So as we glance over to the Woods. The Woods versus Woods from Inglewood. Woods versus Wood game. JC trying to put this one away right here. He's trying to put this one away. The time has come. For Woods versus Woods still all tied up 0 0. Still super early in this game. We'll cut back to this game once we have someone putting something on the board. Baskets thrown away, thrown out of bounds. We're going to check back in on that Lala versus JC game. That game is nearing the fourth quarter. We've seen him here before. JC on the offensive, pushing towards the end zone. Question is, can he put another seven on the board? Cuts to the outside. Almost picks up another first down. All positive yards, Hollywood. That ain't good for luck. JC finds himself in third and four. And we haven't seen Lala be able to get the stops that he needs on defense. Not only is his offense not producing so far, but he hasn't gotten the defensive stops that he needs to stay in this game. I think that bye week may have hurt him. Because JC had that tough game versus Red, and now he's like just focused. He's ran through some plays. He sees what works, what doesn't work. And he just has a slight advantage right now. So much time back there in the pocket. Grabs another first down. And the chat is really enjoying JC's coaching. They feel like he is the favorite. JC seeing first and goal within the under the 10 yard line, nursing a 10 3 lead. Lala just was not prepared for this. Three and a half minutes, a lot of time, unless JC can score here. JC cuts to the outside, gonna get shut down. Mm. Any is too many, like I told you earlier. Any is too many. Now the thing is, this stop, if Lala can get a stop here, this would be huge for not only the mentality of Lala, but the momentum shift. But then he's got a long way to go back down the field. But remember, he's down by seven. What do you mean by stop? He got to stop him from getting any points. Because if he gets any points, it's a two possession game. And this is basically a wrap. Oh, what a hit. Sean Taylor. Lala coming out with some great defense here, saying it's not over yet. He said, I'm not giving it to you that easy. Forcing Jay Z in a third and goal. JC spending a little more time flipping through that playbook now. Before we've seen him lock in pretty quickly. Now this time, searching for the specific play that he wants to get it done here. Third and goal situation. Keep Cuts to the inside, back and forth. Not able to get in the end zone. Going to be just short now, fourth and goal. He's finding some weak spots on that defense. Passing and running. Oh, he takes the three. Puts himself up by 10 with two minutes and 35 seconds left. That's a great position to be in, Hollywood. So, dog, if you are in this position, down, down 10, less than about two and a half minutes to go, how aggressively do you have to start marching down the field right away? You got to score now. I'm trying to score <clears throat> at least with two minutes or 150 left in the game and keep, you know, the momentum going on my side. Lala's I don't have gonna no timeouts. Look for no time a block, outs. not able to run it back. He has any, he don't have no timeouts. Like, that's terrible coaching. 
<laughs> Got to keep at least one timeout. Lala still not looking frazzled, but with no timeouts on the clock, not a great position to be in. Two and a half minutes on the clock. Lala in possession, going to drop back. Going to cut to the outside. Going to pick up the first. Took a big hit there, able to hang on to the ball. Lala's got to be in a hurry up offense situation here as the clock's going to keep running. Big bomb downfield, hands up, almost intercepted again. JC wanted to come down with it, couldn't get it there. That call incomplete that, pass, that gonna stop boxing. the clock. That's called bird boxing when you just throw the ball. Lala looking for anything downfield that'll get him into the end zone. Not looking good. His OC needs to pull out some different plays or either try to figure this defense out. He needs to make it funky. <laughs> you know, Anita. JC gonna use one of the timeouts there. You know, I need to. You know, I want to. Lala, two minutes, ten seconds on the clock. Dropping back. All kinds of time. Gonna take it on the run, gonna pick up the first, gonna dive. Had an opportunity to pick up some extra yards there, decided to dive early. Dog, what's your call on that? I mean, you gotta have better play selection than that. I mean, you can't just be running around diving. That's, that's moving the clock and not, you gotta have your receivers doing different routes or doing other things. So we find ourselves coming off that two minutes. The two minute warning, la la. Come on, y'all. All kinds of time again. Looking downfield. Now, gonna pick go. up another first That's down. I like it. That play right there looking suitable. He's got to be careful. Took a big hit there. Come Ball on, almost popped out. Running that hurry up offense. He's got to get in the end zone. Got to get in right now. Big sack. Lawrence Taylor from the Taylor game. Taylor, gang. <laughs> Lala finds himself on the wrong side of Lunder, a minute and a half remaining. Running in his own play. You gotta wonder at this point, is input error yes! gonna be a problem? Yes! Getting dropped yet again. JC feeling all the momentum right now. The pop off is real as we're j dancing around a minute remaining in this game. JC with over a 10 point lead over Lala. Let's go. Mm. At this point, you got to say, that maybe that first round bye did Lala in. In the nation of Islam, that's the only right one he is. That's mine. That's big. Oh, tackle me bounce. Lala's going to get the first down, but wow. it could be a little too little too late. Running out of hurry up offense. Clock not going to stop. Finds himself just outside the 15. Looking for a shot at the end zone. Can he poke in? Going to go on the run. JC with another stop. Going to get brought down in bounds. That means the clock's going to keep ticking. We're just about 30 seconds left in this game. JC looking to move on. Lala almost throws an interception in the end zone. JC was looking to pull that one. 24 seconds remaining. Third and goal situation for Lala. The sun's not. getting real low. I'll give you everything, but I can't give you a motherfucking win. You bet you. All that I'm looking for. The key is yours. Get you. I'll give you everything, but I can't give you a win. I give you the sun, the rain, the moon, and I will. Almost an interception there again. JC with the pop off. JC can feel this thing is almost all about over, folks. 19 seconds, and it's still a two possession game. Lala just with not enough plays in the book to get it done versus JC riding the wave of confidence right now. Oh, 
Oh, he got in there. Lala, gonna get in. That touchdown was more about pride at this point, dog. Right, so when we're talking about it later on in the chat, it won't look like you couldn't get in his own. This is gonna be a long conversation on the chat line. Chat saying they think JC's got this one in the bag. Lala gonna kick the field goal. 14 seconds left on the clock. JC is gonna receive the ball one more time. The question is, will JC just take a knee? <laughs> or will he try to throw one more bomb downfield just to put an exclamation point on this game? There's the squib kick. JC gonna... It's over. Good night! Good night! Good night, rank one. No traffic right now. Run out of here if you want No traffic. No traffic right now on the 405. I don't know, but he's out of this tournament. He ain't got to go nowhere, but he's out clock. of this tournament. Dog, I got a pretty good idea here. JC is died. probably just going to take a knee and let time run out. Now you got to see Mickey. He's never beaten in the Muttley, ever. Tournament or regular games. He know what it is. JC the great. Good night, Lala. Good and night, just Lala. like that, with that knee, that, that game's going right to come to an end. JC's going to move on. The first person to move on into round number three. He in the final four? We're not running this JC play. taking that first final four spot. After first going through Red Grant, then clearing Lala, JC with the first seat at the final four table. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the GGL. GGL 3 Madden 2019. Guys, what's going on? It's your boy Hollywood, better known as the Gamer Tag Stuntman Gene, with my main man, the boss dog himself, Big Snoop Dog. Who was his, his game's coming up pretty quickly. I think my game is up, ain't it?